Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we have a bit of an unboxing for you. Let's do this. In this box is a... I honestly have no idea. Other than it is an Eastwood and it is fragile. As my channel has been growing, I've brought on a few friends to help me out with some endeavors involving the channel, including reaching out to various manufacturers to check out more instruments. So big thank you to my main man, Chris, who is part of the Low End Lobster Group and who reaches out to manufacturers and vendors to check out cool stuff. So thanks to him, we have an Eastwood in this box. I legit have no idea what's in this at all. So <laughs> let's see what's inside. For those who remember, my first and only Eastwood experience actually involved two Eastwoods, and those were the EB-1 copies. The little Gibson hollow body beetle base kind of copy with the mud bucker. Uh, the first one had its neck broken off, and the second one was just not that great of an instrument, honestly. Uh, they were pretty pricey for what you were getting, and I was not impressed. However, Eastwood does have various manufacturing plants and various models and all sorts of price points and I've only tried out that one model so we're gonna see what's in this box and we'll see how it plays. I'm gonna be as surprised as you are so let's do this. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Time to find out what's in the box! So far so good. It doesn't feel like the neck is broken off. That is a good sign. Okay. This is the Eastwood EEB-1. Modeled after the Ampeg. Uh, AEB-1 or... I don't remember the model name, but... Interesting. I've been very curious about these for a long time. The videos that I see about them are like a million years old, and you really don't get a good idea of what they sound like and what they feel like, so... <laughs> I'm excited to check this out in uh, further detail. So unlike the Gibson EB-1 copy, which I checked out last year sometime, this is made in Indonesia and not China. Uh, the build quality itself seems to be a bit higher than what I experienced last time. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. <laughs> so neck wise this is this is a fat neck this is quite chunky um it's not uncomfortable it is wide the nut width is about 43 millimeters which is definitely on the wide side um that's actually the nut width of the yamaha bb 735a and that's a five string this is a four string however so this is a beefy neck <laughs> The electronics are pretty basic. What you have is some sort of, I guess, humbucker because it's dead quiet. There's no hum or anything and a volume and tone control. The tuners are lightweight style Godo-ish tuners. Um, here, let's hold this thing up. The headstock. Here's the back. <laughs> this 
this is an interesting pickup. Look, I'm tapping it and it's, it's coming in through the amp. Um, yeah, so you have some sort of humbucker pickup, a volume and tone control, and that is about it. Balance wise, it is a little on the neck heavy side. Most of the time, especially with basses that have heavy tuners, you can definitely tell, especially on a five string, that they're gonna just go boo with the neck. But this is uh, kind of in the middle there. I think it's because the body is relatively lightweight. You have these big cutaways um, that remove a lot of material from uh, otherwise like, not that big of a body. In the pictures you see, I, I feel like they look bigger, but holding one in person, this is a, I guess, a normal sized bass. Let's turn the tone down a little bit, see what that sounds like. Here's the tone all the way off. Not bad, not bad. The fretwork here is good, though I probably have to adjust this pickup a little bit. It's running a bit hot. Other than that though, this is a very good second impression from Eastwood. So thanks Eastwood for sending me this bass. Now I will be doing a full review on this bass in the near future, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. However, I need to make clear that this is not my base. Eastwood has sent me this base, but they are not paying me. I do not accept money from manufacturers for doing reviews on their instruments, as it does sacrifice integrity in my eyes. I'm also not keeping this base. This was simply sent to me from Eastwood in order to review. I'm gonna go ahead and send it back after I do a deeper dive into it. <laughs> So thanks again, Eastwood, for sending me this base. I appreciate having the opportunity to take a look at another one of your models, and I'm glad that the neck is still attached, so already a big win in my book. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. I'd be closer, but there's a lot of boxes over here, and I can't get over there, so thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think about the Eastwood EEV1. I, I don't remember what this model's called, but let me know what you think about it, and until we groove again.